Although he is mentioned in few textbooks, Booker Monroe made history in 1965 as the first African American to use a whites-only glory hole. Despite white glory holes having better funding, maintenance, and sanitation, racial segregation of public utilities was upheld under the Supreme Court until the 1954 ruling of Brown v. the Board of Education. But just because this law was overturned doesn't mean integration was accepted. I was terrified. I mean, it seems like that first day, all the white people in town came out to protest me. Men, women, even children. And they were all screaming, go back to your own glory hole. I remember my husband said to me, Ethel, I don't know if I'm brave enough to put my penis in the white man's hole. And I took his hand in mine and I said, you have to, because it's time to make a change. Booker's use of the whites-only glory hole was so controversial that the segregationist governor even called in the National Guard to stop him, forcing President Lyndon B. Johnson to send in federal troopers to escort Monroe to the glory hole. Said Johnson, I have commissioned the United States 102nd Airborne Division in an effort to escort Booker Monroe in order to preserve his safety as we strive for greater equality in this nation. It is Mr. Monroe's right as an American to use this glory hole. Finally, on Wednesday, August 4, 1965, Booker Monroe was able to break down a centuries-old barrier and become the first black man to use a glory hole that people of all races can use today.